Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Christine and I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking on to the subscribe button as well as the notification bell beside it so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. For today's video guys, I will be doing a first impressions review about this eyeshadow palettes from Careline. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. So, these are the three shades of the latest eyeshadow palettes from Careline. And na-feature ko na to dun sa ginawa kong haul about all of the things that I purchased during the Lazada year-end sale nung 12-12. And each of this is 165 pesos. And then, luckily that day nung nag-order ako, free yung shipping niya. Plus, may freebie siyang liquid lipstick in the shade um, craving ata yun. In total, meron silang tatlong shades. So, I went ahead and purchased all of the shades just to try out for today's video. So, the first one is this. This is called the Dream Catcher. It is full of taupey, purpley lavender shades. Next is this one. This is called the Slumber Party. It reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. Um, kung hindi nyo pa nakikita yun, uh, I will try and insert a picture right here para makita nyo yung pagkasim similar ng shades nila. And then lastly is this one. Ito yung pinaka-excited ako kasi it's full of colorful and rainbow shades na eyeshadow. And this one is called the Color Paradise. Each of these eyeshadow palettes guys, merong 12 shades ng eyeshadow. When it comes sa um, packaging naman, very simple lang siya. Plastic packaging lang siya. Transparent sa harap. And then, naka-indicate dyan yung brand ng Careline. And then, nakalagay lang shadow palette. And then, at the back, nandyan na din yung mga basic information na kailangan yung malaman when it comes to this eyeshadow palettes. Nandito yung manufacturing date, expiration, cruelty-free, paraben-free, manufacturer claims, and ingredients ng mga eyeshadow palette. Nagdagdag din sila ng free na applicator or sponge applicator for you guys na wala pang mga makeup brushes. Pwede nyo din gamitin tong mga sponge na to to apply the eyeshadows from these eyeshadow palettes. Excited na akong makita yung pigmentation ng mga palettes na to guys. So, let's go ahead and swatch these eyeshadow palettes. So, kakatapos ko lang iswatch tong mga eyeshadow palette na to guys. And ang napansin ko, dito kay Slumber Party is medyo patchy tignan yung mga matte shades niya. Especially etong bluish green na to at saka etong parang army green na to. But, the favorite shade from this palette is yung black. As in, super black siya. Very opaque, very creamy. And hindi mo na siya kailangan i-build up. Pag gagamitin mo tong black na to, kailangan paunti-unti lang kasi super intense yung pagka-black niya. And ito namang si Color Paradise. Ang napansin ko dun sa mga matte shades niya is medyo chalky and powdery sila. Maganda yung pigmentation. Kaya lang yun nga, medyo dry yung formula niya. And then, yung mga foil shade naman from this palette is hindi ganun ka-opaque. And then, surprisingly, ang pinaka nagustuhan kong iswatch is etong si Dreamcatcher. Actually, to be completely honest with you guys, ayoko sanang bilhin tong shade na to or itong palette na to kasi pag tinignan mo, medyo dull or hindi ganun ka-lively tignan yung mga colors ng palette na to. But, surprisingly, nung sinuwatch ko siya, ito lang yung palette na sobrang creamy lahat ng shade, especially yung mga foil shade. And yung mga matte shade niya is hindi ganun ka-powdery. I'm really impressed with this palette so far. So ngayon, itatry na natin itong mga eyeshadow palette na to. But first, I will be priming my eyes using the Essence Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base. And then after that guys, isaset ko lang siya with a translucent powder. And I already did my base makeup and my brows off cam para makasave tayo ng time. Because ang focus naman itong um, video na to is a review about the Careline Eyeshadow Palettes. 
just in case guys, ibibake ko yung ilalim ng mata ko para dito mapunta yung mga fallouts if ever meron. So, hindi ko pa talaga alam kung anong eyeshadow yung gagawin ko for today. Pero, I'm going to start off by grabbing the yellow shade from the Color Paradise Palette. And, ito yung gagamitin ko as my transition shade. Makapit siya sa brush as you guys can see. Kaya lang, medyo powdery siya. Ang problema lang dito guys, since maliit lang yung mga pan ng eyeshadow, medyo mahirap kunin yung product. Kasi minsan, especially right now, gumagamit ako ng malaking brush, uh, mahirap siya pagkasyahin dun sa pan mismo. But, um, nagagawa naman ng paraan. So, nalagay ko na yung yellow shade. Hindi siya masyadong kita. Ewan ko lang kung nakikita sa camera. But now, I'm going to take this shade right here from the Slumber Party Palette. And then next, gagamitin ko naman tong shade na to from the same palette. And gagamitin ko lang yung parehong brush na ginamit ko kanina. And then this one, I will be applying this on my outer corners and then slowly bring this to my crease. In fairness naman guys, so far, madali namang i-apply yung mga shade, hindi siya patchy. And walang ga wala ganong fallouts yung mga eyeshadow. Ewan ko kung nakikita yung sa camera guys, pero once na dinip mo yung brush mo, hindi siya powdery and wala siya ganong cake up. So far guys, I am really impressed with this eyeshadows kasi very blendable and may pay off talaga yung color niya. It's really nice. Next, kukunin ko lang tong orange shade na to from the Color Paradise Palette. And I'm going to be applying this on my crease as well. Next, gagamitin ko lang yung um, red shade. Um, Ibibuild up ko lang yung crease area ko. Napaka-impressive ng pigmentation nila, guys, and blendability. Sobrang ganda. So, try naman natin tong palette na to. Kasi karamihan ng mga shade na ginagamit ko is from yung Slumber Party at saka yung Color Paradise. So, um, tatry ko naman tong palette na to. I will be taking the, tar the darkest shade from this palette, which is this one right here. May pagka plummy reddish undertone siya. Ang bilis niya kumapit sa brush guys. Isang dip ko pa lang. With this one, gagamitin ko to to define the outer corners of my eyes and then um, gradually blend ko siya sa crease. For the exciting part, guys, gagamit na tayo ng foil shade. And gagamitin ko yung mga foil shade from the Color Paradise Palette. Actually, gusto kong gamitin tong tatlong to, guys. Kasi, um, bihira lang ako maglaro when it comes to color. So, I, mean, I wanted to try out these three shades right here. Pero since ang color of the year is blue, uunahin ko muna tong blue shimmer shade na to, guys. And then, titignan ko kung paano ko madadagdag yung purple, pati tong parang turquoise green na shade na to. But I'm going to start off with this shade. I will be applying this on my lids first using a brush. Um, gagamitin ko muna siyang dry and then titignan ko kung kailangan ko siya i-wet later on. So, medyo patchy itong eyeshadow na to using a brush. Um, hindi siya ganun ka-opaque yung color niya. So, so, try kong basain yung brush ko. And kung hindi to gumana with a wet brush, gagamitin ko na lang yung kamay ko. So, medyo nakatulong naman yung pag wet ng brush. Pero hindi pa rin siya ganun ka-opaque. So, try ko siya gamitan ng kamay. Yan, mas okay siyang i-apply using your fingers, guys. Mas dumidikit siya sa skin. And mas maganda yung color payoff niya. Mas nakikita yung pagka-blue niya. So, next, I will be using this parang turquoise greeny shade using a small detail brush. Dry ulit yung brush ko, guys. Try ko lang ulit kasi um, feel ko 
kailangan ko ng mas detailed na brush. So, with this one, I will be using this on the inner parts of my lids. So, maganda yung pagkaka-apply ng turquoise shade. As you guys can see, may gradient effect siya. And then now, I'm going to take yung purple leaf foil shade naman. And with this one, nagamit ko lang yung parehong brush na ginamit ko. And I will be applying this on the outer corners. So, tapos na ako sa lahat ng eyeshadow, guys. And I'm just going to finish off my eyes. I will be applying some mascara and false eyelashes. And then, tatapusin ko na din yung face makeup ko. And then, mag apply din ako ng lip color. And I'll be back. So, this is the finished makeup look na nagawa ko using the Careline eyeshadow palettes. And again, nabili ko to from Lazada for 165 pesos each. And I don't think na available na to sa counters ng Caroline. But from what I heard, magiging available na siya next year. And for my final um, verdict about this eyeshadow palettes, obviously, nagustuhan ko siya. Sobrang nagustuhan ko siya kasi 165 pesos lang siya. Very affordable. Pero ang ganda ng quality ng mga eyeshadow. May ibang mga shades lang na medyo patchy. Hindi ganun ka opik yung colors. Especially yung mga foil shades na ginamit ko kanina which is from the Color Paradise palette. Pero kung chachagain mong gamitin yung mga foil shade na to, mag-work naman siya. And I suggest na i-apply mo na lang siya using your fingers. And then, gumamit ka na lang ng precise na brush if ever kailangan mo siyang i-apply sa mga maliliit na areas. Kasi yun yung ginawa ko kanina. Nung winet ko yung brush ko, nag-work naman siya. Pero hindi pa rin ganun kabuo yung shade niya. Mas okay siyang i-apply using your fingers. And for the rest of the shades na ginamit ko, especially yung mga matte shades na ginamit ko, I am really impressed. Sobrang ganda ng color payoff. Maganda yung pagkaka-apply niya sa skin ko. Kumakapit agad siya sa brush. And madali siyang i-blend out. And tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, unlike any other drugstore eyeshadow palettes na natry ko, um, minsan kasi may mga eyeshadow na kapag in-apply mo siya on top of another eyeshadow, hindi mo nakikita yung pigmentation niya. Um, with this eyeshadow palette, hindi ganun yung case. Um, once na kumamit ka ng ibang shade and in-apply mo on top of another eyeshadow, um, nakikita mo agad yung color payoff niya. And I really do love this eyeshadow palettes. I highly recommend this for you guys na nagahanap ng affordable eyeshadow palette and hindi naman kayo ganun kahilig mag-eyeshadow pero gusto yung magkaroon ng eyeshadow palette just in case for special occasions or kung may mga events kayo napupuntahan. Okay itong mga eyeshadow palette na to kasi maliban sa madali siyang dalhin and ilagay sa makeup kit, Affordable din siya and maganda yung quality niya. So, I highly recommend this for you guys. Also, I would recommend this for you na nagsisimula pa lang sa makeup. Especially, itong si Color Paradise. Kasi, full siya ng mga um, colorful eyeshadow which is perfect if you want to experiment with color. And then, itong dalawang to naman, perfect for you guys na gusto ng mga neutral shades or ng mga... Um, everyday colors. Again, I highly recommend this eyeshadow for you just to try out. Um, again, sa Lazada siya mabibili. Hindi pa siya available sa counters and 165 pesos each sila. So, that is it for today's video, guys. Sana nag-enjoy kayo sa video na to and sana naging helpful tong video na to for you guys out there na gustong i-try out yung mga eyeshadow palette ng Caroline. And sana naging helpful to for you guys na nag-hesitate na bilhin tong eyeshadow palettes na to. Kung meron pa kayong ibang request for future video guys, huwag niyong kakalimutan na mag-comment sa comment section down below. Again, don't forget to like, comment, share this video to your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!